Hey guys, in the video I have for you today, I actually had a bunch of kind of random videos all day long and I thought about showing all of them. But this one was like a home sale inspection. They asked me to look at the hot water heater while I was there. That's not really my expertise, but I can light a hot water heater. Look at the hot water heater and then check out the air conditioner and the furnace and make sure everything's working so they can sell the house. Well, um, not much wrong with the water heater, but you're going to want to see what's going on with this air conditioner. It's got a lot of problems. Here we go. Needs a 20 by 25 filter. <laughs> Thermostat's blank. Let's see if it has 24 holes. Nothing. Let's go check outside. Turn fan to auto. Cool setting. Who the thermostat needs to be replaced? You can't read anything in here. Let's turn it down and see if we can get it to come on. While we're waiting on this to come on, let's go ahead and open it up and look at the control panel. PM, PM. Basically today is just an inspection. So far we got a filter and a thermostat. Hopefully this will come on in just a second and we can check uh, cooling. Nats are bad right now. Somebody has moved that contactor. And the contactor looks burnt. 
if y'all can see that. I know it's harder to see with the camera. Contactors burnt. Right now, I just wanna see if it's gonna come on, check pressures, look at the coals, and then we'll check capacitor and uh, go from there. Definitely dirty. <clears throat> Y'all forgive me? Right there looks really low, like the blower is not turning. Let's check that real quick. Anything crazy down there? You too? All right, the blower's running. May not be running up to speed. Sounded like an 825. Pressures look a little bit better, at least above freezing. Got a high head pressure, kind of a low suction. Taking that filter out is going to make much of a difference. We can see right here. Forgive me, I was a little bit lightheaded. Still says it's 82 degrees in here. So that suction pressure should be higher. I think we're gonna be a little bit low on refrigerant. 
this head pressure will go down when that coil is cleaned and that suction pressure will drop even more. Guys, this is the call from the other day that had uh, chicken sitting on eggs. I know better than to disturb her, but uh, she ain't moving and she's well camouflaged. Well, I know that this other one's supposed to be a 10, but I don't know what this one's supposed to be. Let's see, 55 and three. should be 55 helps if I put it on the right reading 52.1 and 3 the 3 is good I don't see a plus or minus percentage, so let's do 6%. So it's still within range, that one is, just barely. I know that the next one's supposed to be a 10, so I don't have to pull it to test it. Dang, I'm sorry, I had y'all pointed down that whole time. see what this one is nine mm -hmm. that means it's down 10% which means that one's out of range
Mmm, I'm not really picking up anything. Does better when the coal's wet. I let it run long enough to get wet. I'm not sure if y'all can see that. That one is leaking just a little bit considering how old this is. That little bit's enough. That blower does not sound good. I haven't seen one of these blowers be an 825. That right there is running on low speed that you hear. Let's jump from 
red to green. So now we're on the blue speed, which is medium high. One point three nine amps indoor blower motor is rated at two point four. Yeah, that is 20 years old, 20 year old three ton. That's the original blower motor. It looks like the original condenser fan motor. I'm gonna wait for it to come back on. That amp draw is staying pretty steady right about there. Still keeping an eye on it. Right now that amp draw is at 1.61, 1.6. Still a long way away from that 2.4. We've got about seven amps on the compressor. Fan motor 0.95. Let's see, seven and one compressor 18 outdoor fan 1.3. I do hope you enjoyed the video. I'm gonna walk around here because I hear somebody's boat right in my backyard. We gave them an estimate for cleaning the coil, contactor, filter, thermostat, capacitor, Schrader cores, and um, I think that was it. And it was, you know, approaching $1,000 at that point, and a little bit of refrigerant. Some of these boats out here are really loud. But anyway, if y'all enjoyed the video, thanks for watching. How about like and subscribe if you enjoyed? And I'll catch y'all on the next one.